Welcome to the speaking section of IELTS examination. My name is Sapna Dhameja and I would be your examiner for this part of the test. And this test would be recorded. What is your full name? My full name is Arsh Deep Kaur. How may I address you? You may address me by my first name, Arsh. May I see your identification please? Yes, of course. Here is my passport. Okay, thank you Arsh. Where do you live? Uh, I hail from a small town named Tohana, which is located in the state of Haryana, which is in the northern part of my nation, India. Do you study or work? I'm a scholar actually. Currently, I'm pursuing my master's in the computer application field. So before proceeding further to this interview, I would like to announce at YIP platform, we are offering online speaking and writing classes. If you guys wish to enroll, then you can. And even you can book free demo classes first. The number is displayed below. Either you can contact us or WhatsApp us. Thank you. Few questions will be based on transportation. Okay, Ash, what is the most popular means of transportation in your town? In my vicinity, there are number of modes of commutation available. Out of them, uh, private transportation is the most popular one because it's very convenient, comfortable, and it's easily available for everyone. How often do you take buses, Ash? Presently, I am not taking bus, but I remember when I was in my college, at that time my college was located very far away, so I used to commute there with the help of a bus. Okay, can you compare the advantages of planes and trains? Certainly, there are umpteen benefits of trains as well as bus, uh, trains as well mm -hmm. as uh, planes. If I talk about planes, then they are the fastest way of traveling. Apart from that, there is the crew available, which really help, which is really helpful for the passengers. On the other hand, if I talk about trains, they are the economical one as the price is very reasonable. Apart from that, we can easily travel in big groups. Is driving to work popular in your country? Definitely. Uh, driving a car to the workplace is one of the most proficient way of traveling because with the help of car, we can easily make a pit stop whenever we want and we can reach our destination within a time. That's great. Okay. Do you think people will drive more in the future? Uh, truth to be told, in the future, technology will flourish definitely. So I think in the future, uh, cars will be loaded with artificial intelligence. So there will be no need for a driver. Uh, for example, recently Tesla has launched a driverless car. So I think there will be no driver's car in the future. Mm -hmm. Now few questions will be based on holidays. What do you do in your holidays, Arsh? Uh, to be honest, I'm a slog during my holidays. I'm usually sluggish and I usually rest and replenish my uh, left energy. Mm -hmm. Who do you usually spend the holiday with? Uh, as I'm staying with my family, majority of the time I spend my quality time with them and we play a lot of games and we gossip what we have done throughout the week. Uh, apart from that, there are some scenarios when I visit my relatives and friends in order to catch up. Do you prefer traveling alone or in a group? It depends upon the situation actually. When I want solitude, I want some isolation, I decide to travel alone because I want to explore myself, gather my thoughts. But sometimes I do like to socialize, so at that time I prefer to travel in big groups. That's great. Why are holidays important to you, Ash? I think holidays are very mandatory for not only me but everyone else because it's a great way to amuse ourselves and be away and get a break from our hectic schedule and pursue our hobbies. Okay. If you could take a holiday anywhere in the world, where would you go and buy? That's a very interesting question but I must say if I ever get this opportunity I will definitely visit the eastern side of my country India. It's called the Seven Sisters and I'm really really amazed by these places because of the beauty, pristine nature and the people and the culture. That's great. Now few questions will be based on bringing things. What will you bring when you go out? There are a number of things I usually take out when I step out of my house. These includes my mobile phone, my wallet, my ID cards. Apart from that, I am a foodie. That's why I like to carry some snacks to munch on and obviously a water bottle. That's great. Did you ever forget to bring something? Actually, men is an hour, so I'm no exception. I remember when I visited my maternal aunt house. At that time, I forget my mobile charger at my home and it was a terrible experience. Okay, will you bring different things in the daytime or at night? 
I don't think so the things uh, change hugely but it's an addition I would definitely carry a torch if I travel in the dusk. Mm -hmm. Okay Ash, this is end of the part one and this was really great. I'm giving you cue card and you will have to speak between one and two minutes. If you wish to make notes then you can use this paper and pencil for making notes. You have one minute to plan your answer. Okay, yes Ash, you will start now. As I'm an amiable person, I have a really extended social circle. During my lifetime, I have befriended so many people, but one is worth mentioning here. So here I'm going to talk about that special person. Actually, she is my chum. Her name is Gagandeep Kaur. I remember when we were in third standard, she migrated to our school. As it was a new atmosphere for her, she was quite nervous and underconfident. And I being an extrovert, I approached her and I started talking with her and I tried to make her feel con comfortable. Uh, during the recess time, I also gave her a tour of the whole school premises and at that time, after that time, our friendship starts to bud. And if I talk about her in detail, she's really great person mm -hmm. with conducive nature. She never say no to any destitute person. She's very veteran in her domain and fields. And even I was, whenever I was having some doubts and queries, she always welcomed me with, with open arms and always helped me to solve those. Even for my personal issues, I turned towards her and she always gave very accurate and precise solutions to my problem. Uh, I remember the last time I met, it was on my birthday. Actually, she is staying far away from us nowadays because of her academic reasons. But at that time, I met with her and we had a veil of time. And it was really a cherishable moment of my life. And I even remember that from the very beginning, we always do a lot of things together, like even for going for shopping and doing the studies. Even our parents are really proud of us because of our friendship. We are just like the siblings. Okay, that's great. Okay, so this is the end of the cue card and now I'm going to ask some follow-up questions and which will be based on the cue card. So Arsh, how do people make new friends? Uh, there are various means of making new friends. I will say the online and the offline one. As nowadays, because of the technology, we can even connect with people who reside in far-flung areas. Like there are some applications such as Instagram, WhatsApp, Snapchat, through we can connect and befriend other people. On the other hand, we can even go to some places physically, like some parties, events, clubs, in order to befriend people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, does it make things easier in a friendship if you have similar interests? Uh, well, I personally think it will make the relationship very lame and boring because if we have people with other opinions, different opinions, then they will contradict us whenever we are wrong and it will widen our horizons as well as we get to know about a whole different perspective. So I think we should prefer those people as well who have some different opinions than us. Like what other reason? Why do you think so? Because I'm that kind of girl who like to explore other things. I'm not the one who just go with the flow and be lame and boring. I like something new. Like I want to learn something new. I can get to know about a new experience. Like if I'm wrong, if the person have similar interests, then they will say, yeah, that's right. You can go for it. But if the other person is there who have different interests, then he will definitely contradict me. Like why, why you are doing this? So I like this. Okay, that's great. Do you think we meet new people differently now than in the past? Obviously, as I just mentioned that nowadays majority of friendships are based on online applications such as Instagram through which like I think I personally think that these sometimes cause some harm to the people as nobody is true to their self on these applications. But in the previous years, we get to meet people with our relatives, with our known ones and we can easily trust at that time. Why is friendship nowadays so volatile? Well, there are different reasons for this, but the major culprit behind this is I can say like people are so short tempered nowadays. Mm -hmm. They easily get angered. They e easily get furious when the other person contradicts them. But I am not one of them, as I mentioned. I really like when everyone contradicts me. Uh, but this may be the major, major reason behind this volatilization of friendship. 
on the other hand the jealousy factor is also there it means when their friends get success or get to the higher sphere mm -hmm. then definitely they will break the friendship as they will feel that they are not their friend they are just making an excuse to reach highness so that's why okay what do you think what type of personality do people of the young generation admire uh, I personally believe that the youngsters appreciate those personalities which are spontaneous and adventurous and are ready for an adventure at any moment of the time. Can you give some example out of these? Definitely, like I personally like those people who are always ready for traveling, who are always ready to outing. So because I think that uh, if we stay at one place, mm -hmm. I can get easily bored. But if there is a company with me who also like to uh, travel to other places, so then I can easily go there and I will really appreciate her. So her. young people do not appreciate or do not admire hardworking people in your opinion? Uh, well, I say those people who are adventurous and hardworking and adventurous are both different things. So I will not say like those people who do adventure are not hardworking. They are also eager beaver. So that's a diff different matter. Okay. Thank you, Arshdi. This is really very nice interview. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey everyone. Now this is time to give the feedback for Arsh interview and I'm quite satisfied with this interview and I'm giving 9 out of 9 band and here I would like to talk about the criteria by his first of all fluency and it was really excellent. She was speaking without putting much effort and this is required in IELTS speaking test. And uh, secondly lexical resource and third grammatical range and accuracy. It was really excellent in both terms whether it was vocabulary or its grammatical range and accuracy. She did not take time to think new words and about thinking the grammatical uh, structures. She was using various structure and using lots of new words, wh whatever candidates generally do not use and but she did over here. And in terms of pronunciation, she was quite natural. As in the final day of examination, when you will be natural in your examination, then definitely you can get good score as Arsh did and Arsh performed. Even though she had some slips in this uh, interview, but it, it was really perfect and perfection is required because whenever you know, examiners see whenever if you if you are just planning to move to any country like UK or you are planning to move the USA or and in Australia, then how you'll be able to interact with other people at your workplace and with the communities and when you're living over there, then how you can communicate and how you can interact with them. If you are having such speaking, then definitely you can good score. And uh, it was quite natural in, in our speaking. That is why I'm giving nine band over here. And everything uh, according to the four criteria, it was really great. She had done some errors and some mistakes, but uh, these are being neglected because her interaction part, part was quite strong. And hope this will be helpful. Thank you so much.